community. I just wanted to do a video just to kind of show how we are using um, our uh, the multi-view uh, option that ProPresenter allows you to have. We have a couple of different options that we use. We have uh, this traditional, uh, you know, four display quad uh, in a, you know, 16 by 9 format. And, um, and then we have another format that we have actually adopted to which is in this uh, long format. I'm gonna come to this secondly and talk about it, but I'm gonna go to this and at least just kind of share how we're using it and how we set it up. Um, so just real quick, uh, just to kind of show you how this works. Uh, again, if I you know, have my um, you know, song lyrics uh, and we do that, you can see that this is what's going out to our main projector screens. Um, and then this is showing what's being displayed on our stage display with uh, the current lyric and the upcoming lyric. So you can see how that works. Um, and then broadcast, this is what's going out through our alpha channel. Uh, we're using the uh, Blackmagic uh, Decklink Duo uh, in doing alpha into our video switcher. We have a Ross uh, Carbonite Solo. Uh, that we're using as a, as a video switcher. And then these are just some timer information that um, uh, you know, we put in. Uh, so video remaining, so this, this countdown right here, as you can see this playback here, is based off of this uh, moving background that's playing. Uh, you can see that if I actually play you know, um, uh, our, the video here, see it shows the the countdown related to you know that video countdown uh, and that information as well this video remaining will show up in this pane right here as a as a countdown actually no it won't maybe it'll do it on my summer yeah right there behind it you can see and that is you know the countdown that's shown on the stage display for the personnel on stage to know how much is left in that video. Uh, sermon countdown, very simple. It's uh, just a little clock that we've programmed in here and when we trigger the first slide the countdown starts right there and then when we get to the end of the message and we get down here the clock stops and again that is just because right here I have set the timer action to be a stop. Um, so that's how that works. So how did I create this multi-view? Uh, well that multi-view was created uh, first of all by going to screens and going into configure screens and I went here this multi-viewer right here is what's selected the multi-view one and as you can see uh, I have it as a placeholder and that placeholder is set for 1920 by 1080 so that right there is the 1920 by 1080. Um, once I create uh, that placeholder and that screen, then I go into my stage editor and down here is where I created um, the multi-view. So again, this right here is strictly a, um, it's a sh uh, shape and it's a fill set for whatever is on the main screen uh, and again you can add those you know from this plus button you do screen view main um, so whatever you have programmed for main and again what does that mean the main again if I go to my um, configure screens you'll see I have main I have broadcast and I have stage display so these are screens that have been configured as well the main is going out through the deck link. The broadcast is going out through the deck link as an alpha. And the stage display is going out through the deck link as well. Um, and so when you, if that, hopefully that makes sense, when you do screen preview, there's main, there's stage display, there's broadcast. Now the reason why you see multi-view and multi-view, again, going back to configure screens is multi-view, multi-view, but these are placeholders, okay? So that's the difference. So these are actually outputs going out to the 
uh, deck link, that one, that one, and then these are just placeholders that just kind of house it within. It's actually not going out as an output out of ProPresenter. It's staying within the computer. I'm using it as just kind of as an internal reference. Um, so I'm going to go to Stage Editor. We're here. Uh, let's go to Stage Editor and um, and they, um, you know, these right here, the fill is set for main, screen preview, main. This is set for the stage display, screen preview, stage display. Again, you can add it in here, screen preview, stage display. Same thing with here with the broadcast. That is screen preview, broadcast. So whatever's going out on those, is what's going to get displayed in those and then these are just you know some clocks that I put in there so the video countdown is strictly that it's just you know video countdown um, that has been added in um, and then uh, sermon countdown it's it's the clock and let me see uh, let me go to sermon countdown um, sermon countdown clock there we go and as you can see under the text it's linked to the sermon countdown. Uh, if I go to the clock, as, as right there, you can see that it's linked text to the system clock. You do have options there of what you could do for formatting. And then if we go for video countdown right there, it's linked text for video countdown. Real simple, how that adds it in, and that's what gives you this information. So let's go to the multi viewer that we are now using. I want to say, uh, you know, Cody Patterson of Renewed Visions, he posted a, a question out on the, um, the official Pro Presenter Facebook page and just asked, hey, um, you know, let's see your multi view monitor views. And a lot of people posted a bunch of different options. I posted mine, I actually posted this view that we use. But I was scrolling through and I saw the vertical format and I was like, oh my gosh, I really love that. And so I'm going to show you how I created the vertical format. So uh, I'm going to put it there on the vertical format. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, format this up the way we normally have it. So I'm going to shrink this down. Not that much. I need to then scroll this all the way down and just kind of make sure we're formatted correctly it's filled up in the screen so there we go that's how we are currently using uh, the multi view so instead of it being a quad uh, view which that's what I'm calling as a quad uh, we're using this vertical format and we found that the reason why we like it is we've still got good size you know where we can see information here but at the same time, we can actually kind of increase the size uh, where we get a little bit bigger, you know, here in front of us um, to see. It's not as, as small. Uh, it helps some of my pro presenter operators that need things a little bit bigger. Um, so again, it's the exact same information uh, that we had on the quad view. Um, so how did I create that? Well. I went to uh, screens and I went to configure screens and I just created a new you know multi view and you know as a placeholder and I set the size for 500 by 1200 is the size that I set uh, and then you know named it multi view then I went into my stage editor and what I did is I actually took the current quad view this and I did a right click copy and then I did a right click paste and it came up you know where it was identical and then I was able to then um, uh, format this matter of fact let me show you so I, I did a paste and so there's the pasted one and then what I did is I went over here to size and I said I want the multi view that says 500 by 1200 and when I did that it looks like that so then what do you need to do well then you need to uh you know change the size and you know move you know text around move boxes around and all that to fill it up this is the finished format right there so i'll just let you know with that 500 by 1200 i went 500 because i wanted my borders that i have around here to really kind of show up good 
uh, but these boxes are actually shaped at 480 by 270. So that's giving me my 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio format. Uh, I didn't, the only thing that I changed when I went from this view to this is I changed this size to fit within. I did change my text size. Originally it was at um, a 40. Uh, so if I go back over here and look at the main, you can see the text is a size 40 uh, point. And then here I went to a 20 point. Um, I could go a little bit bigger if I want to. Um, and then, so I changed the text size. I obviously, you know, you know, cleaned up, you know, the spacing. Obviously my video is not a full, you know, the, the 480 by 270 didn't need to be. Uh, I changed obviously my text size there um, and the, the size of, of the clocks. Uh, because again, you know, you can make things a little bit smaller, but you're making it, it still comes out big uh, on that screen. So I think the key here for you to know is again on um, on the uh, you know on on the actual box is you want to select the size of that multi view that you create of that 500 by 1200 and when you do then you can just start you know doing your sizes and you know that's what it looks like so when we're sitting there we've got what's going out to our main we can see what's going out on our stage display. We can see what's going out on our broadcast, and we've got our clock information right there uh, in front of us. Um, the operators really love this format. They love this look, and, uh, and so that's what we're sticking with. Um, but, you know, there may be another operator that says, no, I want the quad. Well, we can go back to the quad, and we can decrease this size, this pane size, and then, uh, you know, obviously, you know, make this smaller. Uh, the way we need to but that's pretty much what we've got right now so um, hey hit like um, leave your comments questions down in the in the uh, below uh, I try to answer questions um, I'll do a couple other videos of the way we are using pro presenter 7 again our, our church ministry here we absolutely love it what it's doing for us allowing us to do in the format and the way that we're applying it in our environment your environment may be completely different um, but that's the thing it's it's so unique in how you can customize it uh, for what you want um, uh, again if you leave a question below I, I do try to respond very very quickly uh, in just trying to help out that's what I think we all ought to be doing is just helping each other out and um, so talk to you soon and uh, uh, have fun out there with ProPresenter 7 in your ministry and uh, God bless.